But I'm thinking maybe the first thing that we'll have to do is just to get a colored pen and then highlight a line from the center to the circumference with the same color so that we know those ones are radius. Né? Now, can you give me the radius that we have here? Line from the center to the circumference. Okay. Oh, hey. We have OA. Oh, we have OA. Oh, so we have OA. Yes. Okay. And then oh, Lifa, do oh, you have any other radius? Yes, OD. So we have OA and OD. So we'll highlight them with the same color. These two are going to be equal. And then after highlighting our radius, I think the next step then we can say, okay. Let's go and read the statement and check what is given from the statement and then try to put it on the diagram if it's not given there. So let's just check. We are given that O is the center. So that one, it's already there on our diagram. And then they told us that AB, AB is equaling to eight. That one is also written, but look at the following. So they are telling us that starting from here to here, it's given that one, AB is eight. Ne? And then the yes. other thing which is also given is that AF is equaling to FB. Then what is going to be AF? AF. It's going to be? Four. Four. It should be four centimeter. And then what is going yes. to be FB? Four. Four centimeters. Four centimeters. And then you can see, guys, oh. this thing here, I'm writing it with the red color because it's given. The things that are given, I'm simply going to write them with the red color. Okay, Um. so they say we have OF, which is three centimeters. It's fine. It's written there. OE is equal to oh, oh, three centimeters. The other one is four centimeters. And then this is the one that we're talking about. AF is equal to FP. It's given. And then the other thing that they said is that OE is perpendicular to O or to CD. So those are the things which are given. I'm done with the given things. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we want to check our diagrams individually. So, so we'll go to this diagram here and check what is missing. And then we're going to edit with this green color. Before we do that, what is given here? Let's check what is given here on this diagram. OF. What am I given here as a theorem? What, what, which theorem am I given here? What is this? You have a line from the center. The line from the center is going where? To the chord. Yeah, so we have a line from the center to the midpoint of the chord. So we have a line drawn midpoint. from the center and then it goes to the midpoint of the chord. So I will write that this here is given as line from center to midpoint of chord. Okay, let's go to the yeah. other one then. On this other diagram here, what are you given here on this diagram here? You have a line from the center. Oh, yeah. What does the line from the center do to the chord? Bisects the chord. No, this one is the one which bisects the chord. This one is the one which is going to bisect the chord. But here, what are you given? Look at this thing here. What is it that you are given here? The line is perpendicular to the chord. So you have a line from the center which is going to be perpendicular to the chord. So here you'll write you have line from center perpendicular to chord. Okay, right. now guys. After writing what is given in each of the diagrams, let's go and check something else then. We're going to check what is missing in the green diagram, and then we're also going to check what is missing in the master diagram so that it becomes something like this. We want our diagram to look something like this. It needs to have bisector, and then it also needs to have a perpendicular. You should go and check if it has both, the, uh, both those things. If it's not there, you add it. Uh, let's look at the following diagram. What is missing on, on the screen one here? The angle. The angle is missing. So I'll come and write the angle here, Jane, and then I'll say this is 90 degrees yes. here. 
And then if they ask me, why am I saying that F1 is going to be 90? So I can simply come next to this thing and say F1 is going to be equal to 90 degrees. And then the reason is because I have a line from the center to the midpoint of a chord. So that's my reason. A line from the center, a line from the center to the midpoint of the chord is going to be perpendicular to the chord. That's the theorem. A line from the center to the midpoint of the chord. Then this is the thing that we add. It's going to be perpendicular to the chord. Now let's go to the other one then. On this color, this diagram here, what is it missing such that it looks like that diagram that I showed you then? The thing is. <laughs> what is missing? Lifa. The angle is there. The angle is there. Look at here. We have the angle here. But what is missing? Yeah, we have a line from the center perpendicular to a chord. What is missing on this thing here? The equal thing is. Yeah, the so equal... it's, yeah, we should say that this is going to be equal to this. That is what is missing. So I will come and write, okay, ED. ED. Cause to. Yeah, ED is going to be equal to. Is it easy? Is it easy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy. And then if they ask me, why am I saying that? I'm going to call that we have a line from the center perpendicular to a chord. A line from the center perpendicular to the chord, it bisects the chord. So then I can go and calculate whatever it is that they're asking me to calculate. As soon as I'm done with this, then I can go and calculate whatever it is that they ask me to calculate. Now, the first thing that they say we should calculate, they say calculate the length of AO. Now, where do you find AO? On the green color, can you see AO? Yes. You can see it. Huh? Okay. Yes. We'll start by saying in triangle AOF, we have AO. All squared, which is going to be given as AF all okay. squared plus OF all squared. Do you see what I'm talking about, guys? Here? Yes. Okay. yes. And then from here onwards, hence I said, I'm, I'm sure you got the answer here. The only problem is that how did you get to those steps there? So the first thing that you are supposed to say there is to tell them that these two lines are going to be equal because it's given. So you can say here you have AF, which is going to be equaling to FB, which is going to be equaling to four centimeter. When they ask us why are we saying that, we'll say it's because we're told that AF is equaling to FB. So I'm simply quoting whatever is given there. This thing here was given. And then after that, it's a matter of substitution. Let's go and substitute. We have AO all squared, which is going to be given as AF. What is your AF? Four centimeters. It's three cent. AF is four centimeter. Mm. All squared plus, what is our OF? Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Okay, then from here, you can square both sides. A square root has a plus and a minus. But since we're talking about a length, we're going to take the positive one. So we'll say OA. What is going to be OA? What did you get, guys? Five. You get five. Five centimeters. Five, five centimeters. Five. Five so we'll say this is going to be five centimeters. Okay. Now, it means that mm -hmm. I can come and say the blue color 